All right, I got enough time for probably one more before I go to sleep. So let's let's do the music note real quick. Uh, so we're just gonna go through the strategy I use to beat it in the speed run. This strategy, you probably won't have all of the same tools that I have, but you can probably get something close enough that'll let you beat the level. Uh, so let's just go ahead and level up. We're just going to go up to level 6. We're only going to need two cards. Um, we just are going to take a card at level 5 and level 6, and we're just not really going to worry about anything else. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, it would probably be good to bring... Oh, never mind. Isn't there a bottom attack that wounds? Is it power ballad? Maybe I'm just thinking of Wistful Wounding, because the top does wounding and then the bottom is an attack. Singing Arrow, that's the card that I'm thinking. I should bring that. Uh, it makes for a good backup if we fail to get the kill. Although we won't be in range, but... Alright, so the only thing we're going to go for is just bypassing all of the enemies and then getting a kill with Provoke Terror. So we need to get a plus one in order to get the kill. So we're going to do everything we can that's going to give us plus one damage. The stun is better than minus one because we do have a rolling plus one. So there's always the chance we roll into it. And now the only thing in our entire deck uh, that, that doesn't get the kill is this zero stun and the miss. So that is what we will be going for. Uh, we unfortunately can't afford eagle eye goggles. We're going to need a blinking cape. Then a piercing bow, which is definitely not an item you're normally going to have on this guy. Uh, you need a boots of dashing. And then a ring of haste. And those are basically all of the required items. Then we're just going to get a minor power potion for extra damage. And a... Um, pair of blesses. Is that everything? Yeah. Not really any point in getting anything else. Let's go for it. Yeah, it's right there. So this level is like impossibly difficult if you're playing it straight up and you just try to walk at the enemies and, and kill them and fight them front to back. Um, in the physical version of this, all of your allies use your attack modifier deck, which makes it just oh so much easier because they do so much extra damage the bard's modifier deck averages to like two extra damage per attack or something crazy like that um whereas a default averages to zero so we just need to move to play anything except for mobilizing measure provoke terror um so we'll just move right here we could attack but there's not really any point in doing it um right now our greatest chance um like, if, if we attack, it just increases the odds that we will um, draw our miss on the following turn if we don't draw it on this turn. So, the only thing we need is to not miss. And um, this is the next to last turn. <laughs> and this right here will be the final turn of the scenario. So, we'll just go as fast as we can. Doesn't matter what top we play. Uh, we're going to blinking cape with the boots get all the way here in this second room get all the way to the end then unfortunately we don't have like a top that we can do for damage but we'll go ahead and play a bottom to get provoke terror here and none of our songs affect us so if we could have power balloted on turn one that would have been nice just need a plus one and we get the kill which we did and we'll have to lose some cards to not die to damage, but... Um, that is all there is for this level. Literally, all you have to do is kill the boss, so this is the easiest way to do it. It, um... Because getting through this second room without it is, like, insanely difficult. We just have to watch all of these animations, but... That is this level. That is how you cheese the heck out of it. So... I guess I'll just go ahead and let it run to the end, but have a good one, guys. Thanks.